Before you perform a perm, it's important to use some clarifying shampoo to get an even penetration of the perm solution. I like starting with the mohawk section. I'm pulling the subsections up vertically, so that would be considered half base. If I was to over direct the hair towards the front of the head shape, that would be considered on base. If I was over directing the hair closer to me, then that would be considered off base. Off base is gonna create the least amount of volume and the least amount of tension and stress will be put onto the hair. On base will create the most amount of volume and also the most amount of stress on the hair. So I'm going right in between. And another thing to be mindful of is what direction are you rolling the perm rods? If you're rolling the perm rods in the direction of the hair stream, that is going to create the least amount of strain on the hair. If you roll against the hair stream, that's gonna create the most amount of volume. And she wants more volume, her hair is fine, and it tends to lay flat. So I'm doing half base and rolling against the grain on the mohawk section because I wanna create volume but I also don't want to stress out her hair too much, so I'm staying half base. When it comes to the direction that you're placing the perm rods, the top of the perm rod on the sides of the head is going to be facing the same direction that the curl is going to go. So I, she wants all of her curls moving towards the back of the head. I've got all the perm rods directing her hair to the back of the head. And if you look, Closely, you can see a bunch of plastic knives. Suspending the rubber band from the rod is gonna keep you from creating any creases. Before applying the waving lotion, definitely important to cover the surrounding skin with some petroleum jelly to protect it. So after you've got that all set, then you saturate all the hair with your perm waving lotion and you want to start at the back of the head and work your way towards the front use a towel to keep anything from splashing on your client once the hair is fully saturated with your waving lotion you put on that plastic cap and get it all sealed away with a hair clip after you've let that waving lotion process for 20 minutes it's time to rinse it out with some water for about five minutes you want to make sure that you get everything out of there to the best of your ability but don't be too abrasive don't use a really high pressure water because that might knock some of the rods loose before you put on your neutralizer now that you finish rinsing it's time to get rid of that cotton because it's saturated with waving lotion and pat everything dry make sure that you get as much as you can before putting on the neutralizer. You got your fresh cotton on there. Make sure that you don't use all the neutralizer. Use about half of it because you're going to need to put on the other half pretty soon. Now that you've got half of that neutralizer in there and you let that sit for about five minutes, you can rinse it out for another five minutes. And after that, it's time to get rid of those plastic knives and perm rods. No matter how much elasticity or porosity or the thickness of the cuticle that a client has, it's still very delicate, the hair. So when you're pulling out these perm rods, just be careful. And when you're rolling out the perm rods, also be delicate because when you initially start rolling a perm rod, if you roll it too tight initially, that end paper is going to slip and you're not going to be able to get the traction that you need for a consistent amount of tension in the rod. Once you get that second half of the neutralizer in there, you can work it in with your fingers, but continue to be delicate so that you don't create any breakage. After you've let that sit for about another minute, you can rinse it out. Now that it's all rinsed out, you can scrunch the hair with a towel and still be delicate. Not only when you're doing a perm, but 
just every day when you're taking a shower. Don't be super aggressive with that towel because that's going to create more breakage and, and frizz. When it comes to curls, I like to let it air dry, which assists in creating more separation in the curls. I avoid at all costs putting a comb or a brush or a blow dryer on curly hair because nine times out of ten it's going to create more frizz and it's going to get rid of a lot of this curl. It's going to get rid of a lot of the separation in the curls. After it's air dried, I like going in there with a curling iron and I'm looking for any locks of hair that maybe had a hard time getting that separation I'm talking about. I've had many perms and I haven't had a perm as beautiful as this, a good perm for 30 years when Martha over at Chesterbrook used to perm my hair. Rocco did an excellent job. I feel 20 years younger. It was not painful at all. It, he was very gentle with the rods. And look at the result. Look at the finished result. Look at how nice I look. I'm not wearing any makeup, and I'm an older woman, and I just feel, I feel so magnificent. I really feel like a million dollars today. Thank you, Rocco. My blood only taking care. Ah.